members of the Presidential Guard. It's a nice thing to see. This is Panepistimiu Street, University Street, if you want to buy things at the department store. is the place for you. If you want to see lots of coins on the right hand side, this is the place for you because it is the Coin Museum of Athens. Numismatic the coins. And it's the fifth largest of its kind in the world because actually it was the great people who invented uh, coins as money. Yeah, money. Then on our left hand side, Bank of Greece, not as much money as I would have hoped for, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, but uh, we are doing our best. Thank you. Tourism is helping to pay for this. On the right hand side, the three most impressive neoclassical, exactly well, buildings of Athens, the Academy, the University, that's why this is Panepistimio Street, and that's where I graduated from a long time ago. Uh, so no classes uh, anymore, I mean, uh, we uh, use it for uh, conferences and uh, ceremonies. And on the right hand side, this is the National Library. It is exactly the facade, is imitating the facade of, of the Acropolis. So neoclassicism then was a very prominent style back in the uh, 19th and early 20th century because it is Athens. After all, lots of uh, ancient ruins. Athens, Athens is like an onion. It's a building layers, a historic onion. Everywhere you dig, you find antiquities because it has been um, it has been populated for more than 5,000 years. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the fact that it became the capital was not, uh, in my opinion, the wisest thing. Back in the 1830s, by Otto, the king, you see uh, originally Nathleon was the capital, in the little city we're going to visit, very, very nice place. On our left hand side, the Supreme Court, it used to be a high school for girls, the first high school for girls to graduate from, and has uh, given, given them a chance to get into university. University is free, yeah? We don't have private universities in Greece, but uh, we only have public universities. Of course, we have uh, uh, private uh, like colleges and uh, things like that, but they're not uh, universities. Um, and uh, you have to pass a big test in order to get into university. Translate, it's not easy how to take the test. Uh, and uh, if you 